Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains class 3, Science Olympiad, previous year paper 2021, question paper set A. You can also find class 3, Mathematics Olympiad, solved paper video in my channel. The link for uh, the video is given in the description box. Before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video. The first section is logical reasoning. Question number 1. Find the missing number if a certain rule is followed either row wise or column wise. So we can solve this problem either row wise. So this is row wise or we can solve it by column wise. So now we will solve this problem in column wise. Say 8 into 4. 8 into 4 is 32. And in second column, 5 into 6 is 30. So in the same way, in third column, 7 into 3, it must be 21. So hence option B is the right answer. Question number 2. Select the odd one out. 5, 7, 8, 9. So 5, 7 and 9 are all are odd numbers. Except 8, where 8 is an even number. So C is an odd one out. Question number 3. Some letters are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Select the combination of numbers so that the letters are arranged accordingly to form a meaningful English word. So when you unscramble this letter into a meaningful English word, you will be getting a word, a magic. Now you write the corresponding numbers. 3, A is given as 5 and G is 2 and I is 4 and C is 1. So this is the required answer 3, 5, 2, 4, 1. It's option A is the right answer. Question number 4. How many groups of 6 quickies each can be formed from the given quickies? So let's start counting how many quickies are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So totally 12 quickies. We have to make, uh, make a group of 6 cookies, each can be. So each group must contain 6 cookies. So what you have to do? You have to divide at the total uh, 12 divided with 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. So that we can make 6 cookies of each group. That is like this. We can make like this. So each group contains 6 cookies. Hence, option C is the right answer for this question. Question number 5. Select the correct mirror image of the given figure. So, what are the key points when you solving the mirror image problem? Yes. That is, left side of the image becomes right side. And right side of the image becomes left side and top and bottom top and bottom of the image remains same remains same. So these are the key points. So now as per the key points, rules of the mirror image, top and bottom of the image remain same, right? So here option A and C is just, the image get just inverted. So from B and D only we have to find out, right? So D is the original image. The same image is given here. So B is the mirror image of the given figure. So option B is the right answer for this question. The next section is science. Question number 6. Which of the following is an indoor game? Table tennis, football, golf and baseball. So the right answer is it's option A. Table tennis is an indoor game. Whereas football, golf and baseball all are outdoor games. Question number 7. Which of the following is not a healthy eating habit? Eating low fiber diet as it will help the digestive system to work better. 
chewing the food properly washing hands before and after every meal avoiding drinking water immediately after a meal so which is not a healthy eating habit so chewing the food properly is a correct it's a healthy eating habit and washing your hands is a healthy eating habit and we should avoid drinking water immediately after having a meal so which is not a healthy eating habit eating low fiber diet is not a healthy eating habit because we have to eat more fiber diet so it helps our digestive system to work better so low fiber diet is a wrong statement so option a is the right answer question number 8 which of the following is a body building food bread ghee apple and cheese right so here the bread the ghee bread and ghee are these are all energy giving foods right these are are energy these are all energy giving food whereas apple is a protective food then cheese cheese is a body building food so hence option d is the right answer for this question question number 9 which of the following plants has fibrous roots options are turnip rose rice and banyan right so which of the following plant has fiber roots option c question number 9 which of the following plants has fibrous roots so the turnip rose and banyan so all these three are tap root system tap root system whereas rice is a fibrous root system so the answer for this question is it's option c rice question number 10 select the odd one out on the basis of how they eat cow honey bee butterfly mosquito so honey bee butterfly and mosquitoes all these will suck the air food suck the air food whereas the cow will chew chew its food hence option cow is the odd one out here question number 11 study the given food chain and select the correct option regarding it so grass is eaten by grasshopper and grasshopper is eaten by frog frog is eaten by snake and snake is eaten by eagle so these uh, grass is a producer and these are all consumers what will happen if population of snake is removed from this food chain now let us take we'll just remove the snake what will happen population of grass will go down no because grasshopper is there so grasshopper will eat the eat the grass then population of eagle will increase no what will happen the snake is eaten by eagle so population of eagle will increase no if snake is removed from the food chain eagle won't have their food so the population of eagle will get decrease only then population of grasshopper will increase no if i take a snake there there is no chance of increasing in the grasshopper then population of frog will increase yes why because the frog is eaten by snake whereas if the snake is removed from the food chain so the frog uh, the grow the reproduction of frog will be more so hence the population of frog will increase hence option d will be the right answer for this question question number 12 unscramble the letters given in the box to get the name of a bird and select the correct option regarding the bird so when you unscramble you will be getting the bird as goose so what uh, which option is correct regarding the bird goose it has strong sharp and hooked beak no uh, bird such as eagle hawk vulture would have the would have a strong sharp and hooked beak then it has holes on either side of its beak yes in goose has as a holes on in its beak then it has very sharp claws called talons no uh, it does not have talons birds such as praying birds such as um, again eagle vulture kite so these kind of uh, birds will have a 
talons and this it uses its feet to hold on the tree branches and sit on them no so it does not have talons so this point is it's not correct regarding this bird goose so d is wrong and c is also wrong a is also wrong so hence option b is the right answer for this question question number 13 which bird has the type of beak as shown in the picture so vulture what type of beak it has so it has a hooked beak it's kind of a hooked beak then hummingbird and hoopy bird so it has some long beak long and slender beak very long and slender beak then what about sparrow yes it has short it has short so what about uh, sparrow yes it has short and cone shaped beak cone shaped so here this the beak is very short and looks like some cone shaped hence option d sparrow has this type of beak option d is the right answer number 14 select the incorrect statement sunlight keeps the house free from gems we should regularly do dusting of our house the drains of kitchen and bathroom should be well covered to keep away insects such as cockroaches. We should not put wire netting on the windows as it obstructs the air entering our house. So which is the incorrect statement here? Yes, it's option T is the incorrect statement here. We should not put wire netting because it will obstruct the air entering our house. No, we should put wire netting so that so that it will abstract, yes, it, it will abstract entering insects into our house. So we can avoid or we can protect us ourselves from the various diseases. So it will abstract entering the insects. Say for example, uh, mosquitoes and house flies, everything. So it will protect us from various diseases. Hence, option T is an incorrect statement here number 15 which of the following items can you find in a first aid box so it is spoon nail cutter thermometer and comb so option c thermometer is kept in the first aid box option c is the right answer question number 16 which of the following is a special means of transport right the first one is its ambulance And this is a ship, this is a train or it's a metro train and this is helicopter. So which is a special means of train or uh, um, uh, special means of transport is its ambulance is a special means of transport. 17 Radhika while driving the car notices the road sign shown here she should dash the road sign is given over here is it's a speed breaker speed breaker ahead so what should she do be more cautious as hilly area is going to start slow down stop to let the train cross take a u-turn so whenever we are seeing a speed break we have to slow down our vehicle Option B is the right answer. Question number 18. The given picture shows parts of human body labeled as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Identify the body part that can differentiate between a pink flower and white flower. So the eyes will differentiate that colors. So A must be 3. Then can differentiate between sweet and sour taste. So mouth. Right, so mouth will differentiate the sweet and so taste. Hence, option 3, 5. So, option A is the right answer for this question. Question number 19. Study the given classification chart. So, the organ system uh, flowchart is given here. It is classified into digestive system, reciprocative system and nervous system. So, digestive system is again classified into stomach. Then, we have to find what is P and Q. So, for this, we will move on to the option. What is P here? Joint, 
windpipe, small intestine and scalp. So small intestine is a part of digestive system. So joint, windpipe, skull, these are not the part of digestive system. So here itself we can strike out all the option A, B and D is wrong. Finally C is the right answer. Then we'll check on, uh, we'll check the rest of the option also. Coming from anus. Anus is a, is a part of digestive system. It is also correct. Then R is a respiratory system. It's a part of respiratory system. Yes, lung is a part of respiratory system. Then S, S is a part of nervous system. Yes, spinal cord is a part of nervous system. So finally, we got the answer C. Is the right answer for this question. So we need not to check if the first option P is wrong. So no need to check the rest of the one. So directly you can do like this. Option C is the right answer. Question number 20. Identify X in the given Venn diagram. So the X is. It has audio means of communication. And it has visual means of communication. So radio, book, newspaper and television. So in this the television has both audio and visual means of communication. And option D is the right answer for this question. Question number 21. Identify the constellation shown in the given picture. It's Atsa Major, Atsa Minor, Orion and Scorpius. So the given constellation is it's option C, Orion. Question number 22. X is the hardest mineral while Y is the softest mineral. Identify X and Y. A. X marble and Y graphite. So marble and graphite both are soft mineral. So option A is wrong. Then B. Diamond. Diamond is the hardest of all. So it is a hard mineral. And whereas stark is the soft mineral. So hence B is the right answer. Then what about granite and coal? So granite is a hard mineral. And coal is also hard mineral. So option C is also wrong. Then sandstone and chalk. So sandstone is relatively soft and chalk is a softest mineral. Right, so option D is also wrong. Hence B is the right answer for this question. Question number 23. Select the correct statement. Stroid and cubit are standard unit of measurements. Meter is the unit for measuring weight. Liter is the unit for measuring capacity. Smaller lengths are measured in grams. So, the stride and cubit, these are all not standard, these are all non-standard units of measurement. So, this is wrong. A meter is the unit of unit for measuring weight, meter is measured for measuring a distance. So, that is wrong. Then, liter is the unit of measuring capacity. Yes, it is correct statement. And smaller lengths are measured in meter, millimeter or in centimeter, it is given in grams. So, this is also wrong. So hence option C is the right answer for this question. Question number 24. Which of the plants given in the box are shrubs? So how the shrubs looks? Shrubs also are plants. But it has thin and thin and woody stems. And it looks like a bushes. So which are all the plants having thin and thin woody stems and look like a bushes? Yes, hibiscus, rose, tulasi and jasmine. So these four are shrubs. What about mint and banana? These are herbs. And cucumber is a climber. So finally, which would be your answer? Yes, hibiscus. Rose, Tulasi and Jasmine are strips. Option C is the right answer. Question number 25. Which of the following statement is not true regarding foods? It can make a stationary object move. It can change the speed of moving object. It cannot change the shape of an object. It can change the direction of moving object. So when you give a force to the rest, a stationary object, the object get move. And if you... If you want to stop the moving object, you can give force to stop the moving object so that it can change the speed of the moving object. Then it can change the direction of moving object. Yes, the force can change the direction. But what is given here, it cannot change the shape of an object. No, the force can change the shape of an object. Hence, option C is the right answer. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द नियरेस्ट स्टार टू अर्थ अल्फा सेंचुरी प्रॉक्सिमा सेंचुरी सन एंड साइरस द सन इज अ स्टार विच इज नियरेस्ट टू अर्थ सी इज अ राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन मैच कॉलम वन विद कॉलम टू एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो इन कॉलम वन एनिमल्स नेम आर गिवन इन कॉलम टू देयर होम्स आर गिवन हियर सो शीप विल लिवस इन शीप इन पेन देन पिंक विल स्टे विल स्टे इन स्टाइ देन हार्स इन स्टेबल एंड रैबिट इन बर सो फाइनली विच इज़ अ राइट आंसर इट्स ऑप्शन बी इज अ राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट ईच ऑफ द फोर गिवन ग्रुप्स कंटेंट्स एंड वन ऑड नंबर एन सर्कल्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ फूड सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन इन विच द ऑड मेंबर इज एन सर्कल्ड इन करेक्टली सो इन ऑप्शन ए पल्सस चिकन एंड स्पिनाच सो वी नो द पल्सस एंड चिकन आर बॉडी बिल्डिंग फूड बॉडी बिल्डिंग फूड वेर एज स्पिनाच इज अ इज अ प्रोटेक्टिव फूड सो इट इज Or one out here, spinach, so it is matched correctly. Then bread, ghee, and fish. So the bread and ghee are energy giving foods. Right. Whereas fish is a body building food. So this is also a circle correctly. Then coming to papaya, sugar, and tomato. So papaya is a protective food. Whereas the sugar is an energy giving food, right? Whereas the tomato is a protective food. So instead of tomato, sugar must be encircled. So here the tomato is encircled incorrectly. So option C must be the right answer. Here chapati, jaggery, and curd. So chapati and jaggery are energy giving foods. And curd is a body building food. So here curd is encircled correctly, and C is the right answer. Thirty nine. Refer to the given conversation between Raj and his mother, Shushma, and answer the question that follows. So Shushma says, Raj, where are you? C, who has come to meet you? Raj replied, I am coming, mom. Shushma is most likely present in which of the following rooms of her house? So as per the conversation over here, Susma must be attending her guest, which is coming over her home, right? So she must be in the living room. She is attending her guest. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number thirty: Which of the following festival is celebrated in the spring season? Holy, Christmas, Diwali, and Independence Day. So the festival means a uh, festival which is which we are celebrated in spring season is Holi. In the month of March, right? So option A, Holi is the right answer. So the next section is its achiever section. Question number thirty-one. Study the given Venn diagram and select the correct option regarding plants X, Y, and Z. Here, the plant X has edible leaves as well as edible seeds. Plant Z has edible fruits as well as edible seeds, whereas plant Y has only edible fruits. So move on to the option. X could be a cabbage. So in cabbage, the edible part is leaves. The edible part of the cabbages will eat the leaves, right? So here the plant X has edible part as leaves as well as seeds. So X uh, cannot be a cabbage. So no need to check the Y part. So option A is wrong. Then X could be a fenugreek. So in fenugreek we eat, we uh, will have leaves as well as seeds. So X can be fenugreek, and Z could be a kiwi. So what is kiwi? A kiwi is a fruit, uh, where the edible part of the kiwi is fruits as well as seeds. So Z can be a kiwi. Option B is the right answer. So anyhow. So anyhow, we will check the remaining option. Option C, Y could be a mango. So, Y, the plant Y has only edible fruit. Yes, mango. We'll eat only the flesh part and we'll not eat the mango uh, seed, right? So, Y could be mango. What about peach? So, in peach also we'll have only fruit, not a seeds. But Z is a 
edible part as well as edible part as fruit and seeds so in peach we need only fruit part so z cannot be a peach so option c is wrong then y could be a jackfruit so the plant y has only the edible part as fruit but in jackfruit we will eat fruit as well as seeds right so y cannot be a jackfruit then what about z could be a plum in plum we will eat only the fruit part right we will eat only the fruit part but here z is given as the plant z has both seeds and fruit as a edible part so z cannot be a plum so d is also wrong finally option b is the right answer for this question question number 32 study the given table and identify the fibers x y and z so here the different types of uh, fibers are given x y and z and their futures are given here so for this question we will move on to the option from there we will find out the answer let us take the first option x is uh, taken as linen so now we will check the futures of uh, futures of x here linen is obtained from fruit no right but here the, uh, the plant the fiber x is obtained from the plant so linen is not obtained from through from fruit of a plant so here itself option a uh, is wrong so no need to check the y and z so option a is wrong then nylon so nylon the plant x is obtained from fruit of fruit of plant whereas nylon is artificial fiber it is not obtained from a fruit of plant so here x is x nylon is is wrong answer so again no need to check y and z so here we'll strike it out then option c is cotton so cotton is obtained from fruit of a plant yes cotton is not obtained from a stem of a plant yes cotton is not obtained from an animal yes and cotton is wore in summer season yes correct so cotton x can be cotton so we'll move on to the next y linen so linen is also a plant but it is not obtained from fruit of a plant but it is obtained from stem of a plant so linen is correct and it is not obtained from an animal and we can wear linen in summer season so linen the y can be a linen then z move on to the z wool is not obtained from plant and it's not obtained from stem of a plant and it is obtained from an animal and it cannot be worn in summer season right so it is correct so directly we can mark our answer c is the right answer for this question number 33 ruhan observed the following phases of the moon on 20th September and 27th September so the 20th September is it's a new moon day so 27th September is nothing but 8th day from the new moon day it's a half moon day half moon or you can say it's a first quarter first quarter now what phases of the moon would he most likely observe on 4th october so 4th october yes 20th september is on new moon day so 15 days from 20th september is 4th october so from 15th day from the new moon day is nothing but it's a full moon day so 4th october is a full moon day so which option contains full moon day yes it's option a so b c d is obviously wrong then what about the 11th october again the 4th october is a full moon day eighth day from the full moon day is what yes again it's a half moon day or you can say it is a third quarter third quarter or half moon day So the eighth day from the full moon day is it's a half moon day or it's a third quarter so this is third quarter or half moon day hence option a is the right answer question number 34 study the given flow chart and identify p q and r so we have to identify what is p and q r so it is given that the p q and r are matters that means it can be any substance or any can be any object so let us uh, take let us consider and substances 
if the substance has a fixed shape if the substance has a fixed shape then what is q so now move on to the option eraser brick oxygen ozone eraser and brick are solid form so it has a fixed shape whereas oxygen and ozone are gaseous form it does not have any fixed shape so c and d is wrong here that option itself fully wrong we have only two option a and b from there we'll find out so eraser and brick so it can be either eraser or brick q can be either eraser or brick so now we'll move on to the uh, substance p if suppose if you are taking a uh, substance p it does not have fixed shape but it has a fixed volume then what is p so does not then move on to option p juice and perfume so juice juice is in the form of liquid the liquid does not have any fixed shape but it has a fixed volume then perfume perfume is not it does not have any fixed shape and it does not also and it does not have a fixed volume also because it is a gaseous form so finally p must be juice p must be juice because juice does not have fixed shape but it has fixed volume so what what would be your answer obviously q is eraser so a is the right answer for this question so b is also wrong so we will check it out whether r is nitrogen or not now you take a substance it does not have fixed shape right it does not have fixed shape for example we'll see like this if the substance as does not have fixed shape and as well as it does not have any fixed volume but it can be easily compressible then what is r so r is a substance it does not have fixed shape it does not have fixed volume but it can easily compressible so easily compressible means it must be a gaseous form yes r is a nitrogen it can be easily compressible finally a is the right answer for this question question number 35 Study the given figure and answer the following questions. Uh, the given figure is it's a water cycle. So statement A, which process is responsible for the formation of dew on the leaves in the winter? So first, what is one? Yes, it is evaporation. This evaporation, and this is condensation. This condensation. Uh, the water vapor transforms into the liquid water right in the form of clouds then precipitation raining then the last one is it's a collection it's a collection so which process is responsible for formation of dew on the leaves in the winter so it is due to the condensation so for a it is to then which process is responsible for drying up rivers during drought drying up the rivers during drought means it the rivers um, the water in the rivers get evaporated right so its option uh, for uh, for b it is one right so your right answer would be its option d 2 comma 1 is the right answer hope you all like this video thanks for watching